guys, this is my video on tips for finding a PhD. So I am doing a chemistry PhD, so this might not cater to everyone, but I'm going to do quite general things, so if you are thinking about doing further study, then I think this would be interesting to you. So first and foremost, pick something that you don't mind studying for the next few years or for the rest of your life. You don't do a PhD just because someone else does it or because you think it's cool to be called doctor or something. Uh, you do it because you are interested in that subject, the topic is something that, you know, fascinates you and you have a passion for it. It's going to be something that you're going to have to really self-motivate, that you're going to have to... Time management, everything is going to be on you. So if you don't like your subject, you're not going to really do very well in this. The second most important thing is that you should find a professor based on their knowledge of your subject of interest. So you should pick a really good professor for your field and look at the university second because the university ranking only really talks about the general things whereas your professor if he's really well known that is what's going to help you in your PhD not the university ranking if you go to a really good university with a mediocre prof then I mean you probably will still be able to get a job because of that university name but it'd be so much better for you to get a good professor get loads of good publications out than have the good university name. When you're finding the right professor, definitely try to contact them, talk about you know the type of things that you want to research, the type of things you're passionate about, how you think you could help them in their research, um, but also maybe try to chat to some other people who are already doing research there. You don't want to end up going for this professor that you think is really great and then finding out that actually life there is hell and then you know you're kind of stuck there for the next few years unless you quit which I think a lot of people try not to do. And third thing is don't be restrictive in where you go so don't say like oh I have to go to the University of Cambridge so that's the only professor I'm going to go for or I have to stay in the UK so I'm going to go for these universities. That really restricts you and restricts what kind of professors you're going to go for, it really restricts you on a lot of things really. And if you look abroad, I think that's really interesting, you can see what it's like to study in these different countries, you also get to travel and it's really good when you are looking for a job later on to know that you've done something abroad and, and adapted to life in a different country or uh, other cultures and things like that. So never restrict yourself on where you want to go and I think that's good for in general whether you're finding a job or whatever it's good to be open to anywhere that you go. Fourth thing is I guess this is actually very important is that make sure that this is right for you so if you're not research driven if you're not that passionate then PhD life is not going to be that great for you you're going to find it really hard to motivate yourself you're going to find it really hard to just do anything and I have seen people who are very clever and who are very good at their subject but they're not good at research and you know they spend these two years just barely getting through and it's, it's very difficult it's very demotivating um, it's much better for you to go and find a job where you know you can still be this clever-minded person have all these great ideas but you don't have to worry about how to conduct research number five is don't give up so maybe you'll get rejected from one university two universities three universities your PhD position but if that's what you really want to do and that's what you think that you're going to be really good at don't give up just keep applying keep searching for really good professors try to build a rapport with them try to tell them you know what what your vision for your research is and how you think that you can benefit them in being in their group and I'm sure that you'll get somewhere good luck guys don't forget to leave me any comments below if you have any questions about PhD life, if you have any questions about study, further study, then please feel free to comment or send me messages or go on my Facebook, my Twitter, anything, and I'll see you next time. You say you're a PhD, spend too much time drinking tea. Have you even done your thesis because your research is in pieces? <laughs>